Are you being busy? Are you being productive? Have you ever gone through a day, felt like it was a busy day, you did so much, but then you look back and thought, I really didn't accomplish anything that I wanted to? Hey, welcome back. Jeff Hagee, Daily Success Strategies. Thanks for being with me today. Today, I wanna to talk about something that I think everyone faces at one point or another. And some people, it's turned into a habit and it really hurts their productivity. Look at things that you're doing and how can you stop being busy and start being more productive? I want you to analyze what you do day in, day out. What are the things that you do on a consistent basis that are getting you closer to your bigger goals, that are getting closer to your objectives to make you more successful? And what are the things that you do on a daily basis that are holding you in place or even taking you backwards? And then what do you do on a daily basis that you do just to please other people? You know, there's a few things that we can do to help figure out how to be more successful and less busy. I want you to look at how you spend your day, how you go about it. Do you just get up, start going through the habits that you've always had and just start putting out fires all day? Or do you have a specific routine that you go through? Do you have a schedule that you stick to? If you wanna be more productive and less busy, you need to create routines and create schedules. You know, I've talked about routines a lot, especially I've talked about what Darren Hardy calls bookending your days. Create your morning routine, your end, end of day routine. You can create those routines that no matter what happens throughout the day, you can always start and end your day the way that you need to. You know, create your morning success habits. I talk about my mindset questions. You can get your mindset questions at jeffhagey.com slash mindset. Go through your mindset questions every morning. Write out your goals every morning. Do all of those things and have that morning routine that you stick to no matter what. And create the success habits that are gonna help you be more successful, that are helping you get closer to your bigger goals. But you can create routines throughout your entire day that you need to commit to and stick to. But also with your schedule. A lot of people will just start work, they've got a task list or whatever it is, start working on things. Then all of a sudden you did something on social media and an hour later you find that you've been scrolling for an hour. When you can create a schedule and say, okay, this is how I'm gonna work on things. And I know I've got from say 10 o'clock to 10.30 that I'm working on this project. Then work on that project, don't get distracted. As you work on those specific projects and you've identified what are the things that are gonna get me closer to my goals, what are the things that I need to put on the back burner because they're not helping me achieve things, you can focus on the things that are most important. I saw actually Anthony Trucks a few weeks ago was talking on, it was probably a podcast or something, but he was talking about how he actually had a timer on his desk. And he says, okay, this is a project I'm working on for one hour, sets his timer, everything else, is off limits he's focused on that task so create that schedule and as you start sticking to a schedule you'll become more disciplined and become more productive and won't have as many distractions but as i said at the beginning you've got to identify those things that are most important to being successful and those have to be the first things on your schedule so you've got to set up a system for success that's going to govern your actions and that you're going to be disciplined enough to stick to this is something that it just takes minor adjustments and it can really have a major impact on your overall success and all that you do. It can change you from being very busy to being very productive and being able to spend more time on the things that matter most to you. And that's even things away from work. That's family and the most important things like that. So start scheduling and figure out your routine and stick to it. Give it a try, I'd love to hear how it goes for you. And one other thing, you know, over the last few weeks, I've talked to a lot of people that are struggling with keeping their 2022 goals already. You know, we're going into February and they've already said, I, I've screwed up, what do I do? Or they're struggling, they feel inadequate, they feel incapable of doing things and they've basically thrown in the towel. They're, they've decided they're gonna settle for less than they have. They don't have those big goals anymore. They're just happy with where they are. If that's you, I'd love to talk to you more about that. I'm actually creating a program. It's gonna be a free training I'm gonna do next week. I don't have the date or anything yet, but if that's something that you'd be interested in finding out more about when I do release the date and the information on what it's gonna be, it's gonna be a free training that helps you really get your focus back and get back on track 
and get your hope and control back. If you want to have some information about that when I have all that available, send me a DM or email me at jeff at jeffhagey.com. Just put in the subject line, include me, and I'll make sure to send that information to you when I have that out. But I've done this training before and it was extremely successful. Had some really great results, had some people that really got motivated to get back on track and understand where they were going and why they were going there. And so if you've got any hesitation, like I said, it's free, give it, give it a shot. You're really gonna get a lot out of it. So just send me an email at jeff at jeffhagey.com and put include me in the subject line. All right, thanks for being with me. I'll be back tomorrow. Hey, athletes and parents of athletes. So much time, money, and effort is put into the physical aspect of your sport to become the best you can be. But the mental game, it's often neglected and it's just as important as the physical game. In fact, it's usually the differentiator between the good and the great athletes. Come and join me in the Confident Athlete Program where you'll learn to control your confidence, develop a powerful mindset, and unlock your full potential. Go to jeffhagey.com slash confident athlete to find out more. I look forward to seeing you there. Hey, some of you may know this, but in addition to my coaching, I've recently joined Geneva Financial Home Loans, a mortgage lender headquartered in Chandler, Arizona as a mortgage loan originator. I've always had a passion for serving others, and now I'm proud to also be a part of Home Loans Powered by Humans. If you're in the state of Arizona and looking to take the next step in your journey, contact me at 801-830-3858 to start the conversation. NMLS number 42056, BK number 0910215, Equal Opportunity Lender.